Today's episode of The Anthony Anderson Show is brought to you by Sun Warrior, sunwarrior.com, and Mt. Gox, that's mtgox.com. You're going to see everything coming up. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. This is Anthony Anderson coming at you live from New York City. And we're here today with a really special guest. Her name is Andrea Cox, and she is a raw food coach health strategist, and a former fitness model. Welcome, Andrea. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. This is great. My pleasure. So, so you have been, you've been in the modeling world. Um, you're really well known now. How did you get into conscious eating and, and like the, the whole foods lifestyle, the raw food lifestyle? How did that all come about? Well, I was a, I actually started out as a pinup girl uh, before I was a fitness model, very young, um, 20, and did that for a few years and then went over to fitness and graced the cover of over 60 magazines. Um, I got into conscious eating and, um, you know, organic and local and thing, things of that nature because I got very sick eating a high protein diet. I um, I had a blockage. Uh -huh. uh, it was it was probably the worst time in my life. I was 28 years old and just could not get up and down the stairs. Couldn't work out like I was doing, and kind of an autoimmune thing. And so that it was that that's what drove you into this lifestyle. So how how did you first hear about raw foods? Well, I was reading um, a raw food book, and the author lived in New York, and um, I, I don't really want to bring up the name because I don't believe in what she has to say now, now that I have the knowledge I do, because she's kind of a, you know, you're 100% or you're not, not. Yes. Um, and I believe more in no percentages and just listening to your body, but um, my mother actually suggested I fly out to meet her. And so I did. I flew out to Manhattan, and I soon found out that it was her colon hydrotherapist that had all the answers. Mm -hmm. And um, so I went and had a session with him, and it was amazing. And um, basically everything I learned about food, I learned from him. He's a plethora of knowledge. So um, after that, I came back, and I'll tell you what, it was overnight. I didn't do a transition. I didn't do, um, you know, graduating down. I cut all animal products out of my diet, and I quit cooking my food. And I like to call that uh, section of my life raw done wrong, Anthony, because mm -hmm. it was just a mess. It, mm -hmm. was a, it was a mess. I was, you know juicing things like broccoli and okay. eating a lot of things raw that really don't digest well and uh, the gas factor was high back in those days. <laughs> yes. Were you doing a lot of salads as well? Was there a lot of fiber in that diet? You know, I always had done salads. One thing I didn't do as a fitness model and a model, I, I would not touch fruit or any type of sugar. I was Miss Anti-Sugar mm -hmm. for years. I, I wouldn't even eat an apple. Uh -huh. um, when I went raw, and this is a true story, I mean, I actually had to have a friend come over to kind of help me get over that um, the first time I ate fruit. Now I eat fruit every day. It's, it's not a big deal to me. I don't um, subscribe to the low fat or the, you know, fruitarian or the either one I, 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 or the high fat. Um, I don't prescribed either of those notions. I honestly eat high fat. I eat a lot of fruit. It kind of goes back and forth depending how I feel by the day. So what is your diet style like at the moment? What are you currently, um, what, what's it like? What's the style? Well, I, you know, I think we talked about before as a fitness model, I had an eating disorder. I had bulimia for years mm -hmm. and um, I really healed myself on a raw vegan diet. Uh, you know, I adhere to a principle, like I said earlier, I'm not, you know, high fruit, I'm not high fat, I'm not low fat. I really prescribe to the Andrea Cox, listen to your body diet. Mm -hmm. And that's basically just 
assessing how I feel when I wake up in the morning with everything I do. Um, I'm finding it, it has so little to do with what we eat and it's more now about, you know, our relationships with others and, and you know, exercise plays a role and, and sun and getting your vitamin D and so diet is a very small part of it. You know, I'll generally have a green juice. I'm a huge proponent of vegetable juice. I've not missed a day of juicing in eight years. Um, so I'll have a big juice, like wow. 32 ounces. Sometimes I'll have like chlorella or whatever. Okay. Um, okay. Today I, you know, for you know, skipped the juice and did a ton of sapotes, and um, mm -hmm. I might have a juice later and a big avocado salad. It all depends on how. I feel I definitely eat fat. I definitely eat a lot of sugar with fruit. Okay. And um, yeah. And what would you like to put in your green juices usually? What What's the mix? Oh gosh, you know it varies. I'm big into medicinal herbs like nettles, stinging nettles. Cool. I mean, you can just pop those right in the juicer. That's purslane. Great. Purslane okay. is amazing for. Um, it, it's so high in omega threes, mm -hmm. so it's amazing for inflammation. So is turmeric. Um, I do, you know, base of cucumber and celery, and you know, put a lemon to cut the green. Kale, beet, um, you know, beet greens great for the liver. Uh -huh. Parsley great for you know a, a good diuretic. Cilantro is a great chelator. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm big into the herbs. Very cool. Very cool. And Not juicing a lot of fruit here. I mean, occasionally right. uh, part of an apple, maybe, um, you know, lemons, limes. I'm not into, uh, I will do watermelon juice um, okay. if I feel like I need to cleanse. Okay. Will you juice the entire watermelon or just the inside? Who are you talking to, Anthony? <laughs> Absolutely, I'll juice that the whole, whole watermelon. The rind, the rind has so many nutri nutrients. It's high in chlorophyll. Absolutely. Are there certain juicers that you would recommend to the audience? The Green Star is my uh, favorite. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would say the, the Green Star. Okay. And I've been working on a, a juicing book now for the past year where I've recorded all my recipes. People kept emailing me um, after I wrote Rawlicious Recipes, my uncooked book, and they said, you know, would you work on a juice book, a smoothie book? But I'm really not into the smoothies. I'm into the juices the herbal teas, the elixirs, and the soups. Not really a smoothie girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have to say, you look really radiant. Your skin looks great. Your hair looks great. Have you noticed a change with the diet? I mean, you were modeling what when you were in your 20s as well, and now that you're in your early 30s, have you noticed that? I, I feel like you're looking better than you did when you were in your early 20s. Well, you know, if I was there, I'd give you a big kiss, and I, I feel the same uh, way about you, um, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> You know, I have noticed a difference. I had horrible acne the whole time I was in high school and as a model. I had terrible cystic acne. My skin is amazing now. Um, I've had nothing done to my face, no Botox, no anything, and my skin is really the best it's ever been. Um, my hair, and this is a true story, when I was a fitness model, I wore hair extensions for years, and this is all my hair. It's huh. my beautiful hair, and I literally have to get my hair cut at least every three weeks because it grows so fast. The same with my fingernails. So I really think um, it's a combination of diet and juicing, but the herbs I take, the Chinese herbs, um, I prefer dragon herbs, are a huge part of my mm -hmm. regime. Mm -hmm. And what would be some favorite ones from that line that you like the uh, best? Hoshu Wu, I mean, oh, there's okay. your hair growth right there. Sure, Hoshu Wu sure. will, will, will grow your hair and turn your hair from gray to its natural color or whatever. Um, I like pearl powder for skin. It's a, it's a, beauty, uh, it's a beauty herb. Topically? I like, yeah, gynostemma. I'm okay. a big proponent of gynostemma. Mm -hmm. And with the, um, and so yeah, with the pearl, you're putting that topically on your skin. You're not ingesting it or both? No, I'm ingesting it. Oh, okay. I'm ingesting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. I don't put anything on, on my skin. I mean, I have makeup on today because I was going to see you, um, but, <laughs> I'm just but um, I don't put, 
I don't put anything on my skin makeup as far as, you know, when I go work out or when I run on the beach or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I like to actually, I live right in front of the ocean, so I like to go and wash my face with the ocean water. Mm -hmm. I do use a Kangen water system as well um, okay. and clustered water. I also use clustered water. So, um, I saw a news piece that you were on and you were telling him about uh, grounding, the grounding technology. And how long have you been doing that? When did you first hear about that kind of stuff? You know, I first heard about it from David Wolf years ago and you. I heard you say it um, one time. I don't remember if it, I think it was a video clip before I moved to California. Uh -huh. And so in Ohio, I'm a you know, native Ohioan and I just moved to California a year ago. I used to go in the winter, stand in the snow, or in the summer, I'd stand in the grass and try to ground myself that way, not on the concrete, not on the carpet, but, mm -hmm. you know, on real ground. And now I just walk across the street and stand on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you've been working with young women with eating disorders. Have you, I, what's the, your experience with that? Like, are, are they really, are they open to the ideas of the juicing and the raw foods? Or is it, is it a little bit more difficult with the younger crowd? Well, um, the one thing about eating disorders, it doesn't just, it, there's no age discrimination there. Uh -huh. um, a lot of women I work with are older. A lot of them are, are young that have eating disorders. Um, and you'll find that women with eating disorders, they have su such a vast knowledge of nutrition because they read so much about it because they want to get well. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing I would tell any woman, and, and yes, they are open to juicing and and eating raw living foods. The first thing I would tell any woman that's struggling with an eating disorder, two things. Number one, have their zinc levels checked. Z low zinc is such a sign of binge eating, bulimia, anorexia. Low zinc is, is what anyone will tell you. And number two, I try to teach women that they don't cut calories, they don't count carbs, they don't you know, watch their sugar. They can eat abundantly of living foods mm -hmm. to get their bodies back in balance. Don't watch the portions in the beginning. I didn't, and yeah. I still don't. I yeah. mean, I've been been raw for seven, going on eight years now, and I never look at portion sizes. I mean, big, huge salads should be the norm. Mm -hmm. It's fine to do. You know, it's okay if you're sitting down to a raw meal. And these women are so. Um, corroded in the mind from all these images that have been airbrushed. I mean, as you know, being a model, I mean, I remember being airbrushed one time and my eyes, they had my eyes brown and my eyes are green. So, I mean, mm -hmm. women are so, you know, jaded by these images and, you know, and yeah. low carb and cut the fat and it's nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're also a large proponent of colon hydrotherapy. What would you, um, how, how would you recommend someone get into that? I think a lot of people are kind of scared at first or almost maybe ashamed because just the art culture and all that kind of stuff, it kind of scares people. But uh, what would you say to someone that's looking to get into it? Would you say once a week, once a month, maybe like a few days in a row, do some enemas at home, go to a professional? I'm going to get slammed for this. I know. <laughs> the emails, you know, just let them come. Uh, I honestly am a huge cheerleader for colon hydrotherapy. I would put it on a bumper sticker if I had one. Mm -hmm. um, I think when you first start out, especially transitioning onto raw, um, w once a week is fine. My own personal opinion. You do have to watch your flora. I mean, you can wash all your good bacteria out, yes. But we are so toxic right now. I mean, from what we inhale to, you know, what we're eating, what's on our food, to everything. I, we're so toxic that to just do it, even doing it once a month is beneficial. Yeah. Um, I really feel like I didn't start absorbing food until I started getting colon hydrotherapy. And I don't have to do it as much now. You know, I mean, once a month is fine. Once every three months is great. But I would say, you know, test practitioners because you really need a good colon hydrotherapist. Um, I think I have the best one in the world, but 
if you don't go to a good therapist, you can get a bad view of colonics. Yeah. Are there any that you'd like to recommend? I mean, maybe the person in New York or the person in California that you're working with? Any plugs you'd like to make? Um, if Okay, I'll tell you what. Dana um, with Refresh Yourself in San Diego, she is amazing. She would be my pick for San Diego, definitely. In Ohio, it would be um, Bet Roebuck. In New York, it would be Gil Jacobs. That would be oh. it. That, those would be my recommendations. Because I've Perfect. had colonics where I've not um, really resonated with the therapist. You really have to go to a therapist who knows about nutrition, knows about food, can assess what's coming out. And, and you know, I really think humic and fulvic acids are a huge huge part of um, the whole cleansing process. Ah, interesting. Okay, we'll get right back to that. I really want to talk about those especially. Um, let's do a quick little sponsor break and we'll talk about our lovely sponsors. And the first one would be Sun Warrior and that's sunwarrior.com. A well-known superfood company. They offer rice proteins, really nice green powder, actually fulvic acids, a lot of really good stuff. They're actually coming out with the Warrior Blend in I would say about two weeks. And that's a blend of three different things. Uh, it's the full spectrum of amino acids. I'm a huge fan of Sun Warrior Protein. I use their vanilla rice protein pretty much every day. I use about three scoops a day. It's great stuff, sunwarrior.com. And Mount Gox. Mount Gox is the number one trade site on the, on the net for Bitcoins. It's available in Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, British pounds, and US dollars. And franchising is also available. And in 16 currencies now, I've just been told. MountGox.com. So if you're interested in Bitcoins, these are the people to go through. That's mtgox.com. Okay, so we're back. So you've had a lot of experience with the uh, humic and fulvic acids. Do you want to tell us about that? Absolutely. Um, you know, I really, and, and again, I want to go back to, you know, with the women I help, it's more about just getting them to quit sticking the finger down their throat or yeah. what have you. It's more yeah. about just transitioning on to a more living foods diet um, or way of life, I like to call it. Um, you know, that I don't push humic and fulvic acids on anyone, um, at least not in the beginning, nor do I push colonics on anyone. It's really, you know, about listening to your body. But I really didn't get the results until I started cleaning my system out with humic and fulvic acids. Um, I then developed my own products that are in a base of humic and fulvic acids with over 400 Ayurvedic herbs, Excellent. medicinal mushrooms, and um, I use those on a daily basis prior to my meals. Great, great. Um, How long have you had that line? It's been about a year and a half. Excellent. And um, it's, it's doing great. I sell them in one pound tubs. Okay. And it's my breakfast formula, my PM formula, and I do anywhere from three to six tablespoons mixed in a little coconut water or coconut oil okay. uh, with a little stevia or honey in it. And it tastes like amazing. And um, I love it. Yeah, it's great. Great for hormone balancing. There's nettles, there's alfalfa in there, there's hoshu wu, medicinal mushrooms, humic and fulvic acids. I also like omaka. I okay. do like Omica Health. They've sent me some products and I like their products as well. Okay, okay, great. Um, yes, oh, you, okay, have you um, experienced, do you, do you have a shower filter as well? You know, Anthony, What's up, I'm what's up with that? Because I know they have a shower filter, Omica does. Oh, really? Yeah, he told me about that. Ralphie told me about that. Um, you actually told me about the shower filter and in Ohio, I had a, reverse osmosis system and here in California I don't and we have the worst water in San Diego so I'm gonna get on the sho shower filter I do use Kangen water okay uh, to drink, but I'm gonna get on that yeah I think a shower filter is really one of the the first the first things I, I recommend for people just because the steam and everything yeah. Um, yeah personally I went through an eating disorder as well and it happened when I actually got into raw food because there was such a disconnect from what I was reading and what I was still craving and so I was bulimic for about a year and I really didn't tell people until maybe about a year ago because I was kind of kind of ashamed about it and I was 
you know, telling people, all, you know, all this stuff, and I was actually bulimic for a time, and I felt like I just kind of wanted to maybe bury that story a little bit. Have you come across any young men that are bulimic? Absolutely. Um, I've had several people who have contacted me that are male, that, and thank you for sharing that, by the way, because mm. most people don't, um, yeah, that have had yeah. bulimia, anorexia, binge eating disorder, bed, that's a big one. Um, yeah, that's what and, it was for me. Yeah, you know, I treat it all the same. First thing, the zinc. Second thing, I mean, you know, really addressing the emotional aspect of it because a lot of times when we're stuffing it in, we're really stuffing down our feelings, and I'm sure you're f familiar with that. So, I mean, our issues lodge in our tissues, you know? When you, when you, that's why I'm such a big proponent of colon hydrotherapy. When you clean all that out, you're cleaning a lot of emotional toxicity out with that. It's not just the, you know, the last week's lunch, you know? It's, a, there's a lot of emotional things that, that get bound up as well, so. Yeah. Yeah, it goes deep. Do you ever do enemas at home? Of course. Okay. I'm so, You're I'm so such, transparent. It's awesome. Come for a week's stay. <laughs> I'm such a uh, coffee enema and, you know, not all the time. You can do too many coffee enemas, but I've experimented recently a lot with um, amino acid enemas. Those are kind of big now and wow. um, especially being vegan, you know, it's, it's hard to cross all your T's and dot your I's. Mm-hmm. Do you have any events coming up? Like, are you, do you planning? I, I know you do some public speaking. Is anything going on in Southern California coming up? Um, are you traveling around the states? Yes, I'm, um, I'm going to start putting on classes at the Harvard Cooking School in La Jolla. Okay. Um, Har Harvard Girl Cooking School in La Jolla. So I'm excited about that. Uh, BB, the owner, I'm working with her to put on classes. My first one is Saturday, October 1st from two to four and um, space is limited so um, I'm doing that I'm working on getting my second book I have one book I've written already Relicious Recipes uh, my second book um, Juicing for Beauty is coming out I'm excited about that and then I'm working on a second DVD series I did a um, DVD series a few years ago and, you know, the recipes and the juices were great in the series, but it's really not what I represent today. Mm -hmm. um, so I start shooting that next week, and I'm really excited about that. So you, have you noticed uh, an evolution in your, in your raw food diet? From when, obviously, when you started, you were doing, like, the gassy, cruciferous stuff. And so since that time, have you noticed the change? Obviously, I mean, I'm sure this has happened, but can you share with us the evolution that you've experienced in the past five years? You know, the number one tip comes from my mother, who I would call her endlessly the first two years I was raw, and, oh, my gosh, what do I do, and I don't know what to eat, and this gives me gas, and my mom, who's not a raw foodist, she knows more about raw food than anyone on the planet now because of me, <laughs> and she always said, listen to your body. And, and that's what I do because we can get so wrapped up and all, there's a lot of people putting videos out there now, giving advice that, you know, some of them know, you know, a little bit and some of them don't. Let's be honest here. So, you know, you, you can get really caught up in watching other people's videos and things like that and, you know, saying, oh, well, so-and-so does a 40-day juice fast, so I'm going to do it. Or so-and-so's, you know, uh you know, works out on, on, on an empty stomach, so I'm going to do it, or so-and-so won't eat fruit, or so-and-so cuts the fat. And, you know, you really have to listen to how you feel because if you're cutting fat and, you, you know, your, your brain's not functioning right, tune into that. Or if you're, you know, um, cutting fruit because you think it's candida or causes candida or whatever, um, and you're not feeling like you have any energy, tune into that. Mm -hmm. No one has mm -hmm. the right answer. You know, mm -hmm. we all have the right answer within our hearts. And I think you have to align yourself spiritually, too. I mean, you know, in my world, it's God first, family and friends second, career third. And that's my motto. Yeah, yeah. So on the other side of the coin, um, how about exercise? What do you do to stay in shape besides the, the healthy diet? 
I'm so glad you asked that, Anthony. Um, <laughs> that has changed a lot over the years. I used to really beat myself up, and I had a running coach in the morning on an empty stomach for an hour and lift weights for an hour and a half. You know, I worked as a fragrance model uh, during the day at Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman's, and I'd right after go to the gym for an hour and a half. It was horrible. I had mm -hmm. no energy. I looked old in the face. It, it was awful. Mm -hmm. um, but now I get up, I'll jump on my rebounder, I'll um, get my infrared sauna for 20 or 30 minutes, uh -huh. I'll, I'll do a chi machine, anything to move the lymphatic system because it's all about getting the lymph system moving. I only work out for about 30 or 45 minutes a day. I take off one to two days a week. Um, I, you know, I'm getting to the point now and, you know, just recently where I really want to be ar around people instead of it all being about my workout schedule, my eating and my juicing, I really want to be around people. So um, workouts have taken a back seat. However, I think they're very important. I think we have to move our body, even yes. if it's just getting out and taking a walk every single day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can tell you can tell a difference. I mean, once you're moving around, and I remember when I go back home to visit family, and I'm not moving so much, my knees start to get a little stiff. And it's like when you're in that routine of movement, and you stop, you can really feel it. The body's speaking. Well, I mean, you have a, a great physique, and and I mean, I've seen some of your videos of you working out, and it's impressive, quite frankly. I mean, the the crunches and things like that. I think women and men are different too in what they need. I actually feel that men need even a little more movement than women. And yeah. the only reason, you know, as far as weight-bearing exercises, but I think it's important for women too because we've got to build that bone mass, especially as we start to age. It's really important. Um, however, I, I really feel like every day when you get up, first thing in the morning, 30 to 45 minutes, if that's what feels right to you, is great. But we don't need to be pushing it for an hour and a half, two hours, mm -hmm. three hours, you know, I mean... It's, it's nonsense. Yeah, I, I think, and, and I think when someone sets it up like that, how long are they really going to stick with it? You know, I think a, a method like yours, it's so much easier to stick with that routine and then see the long-term results. I agree. Yeah. Hmm. Um, are there any books that you've been reading recently that you'd like to recommend to the audience? Um, you know what? Yeah, there, there is. Um, I don't want to get up. Uh, you know, two of them would be, I think the one's called Train Your Brain. Okay. And, um, hang on. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, let me see, for me, what have I been reading? Oh, I've read, re reading a book recently called Smile, uh, exclamation point, The Secret Science of Smiling by Elan Sun Star. It's called Smile with an Apostrophe. Check that out. It's amazing. It's changing my life. Like smiling, if you walk down the street smiling, it's like you're in a bubble of blue light all of a sudden and like things start coming to you. Anyway, sorry. Okay, you're back. <laughs> oh, that's okay. One book, it's in my infrared sauna right now, um, so I can't get it, but um, it's uh, Beth Moore. It, don't be put off. by the, It's called Praying God's Word. A friend gave it to me years ago, and it just has um, little prayers in it from mm -hmm. when you're struggling with things, decision making, sure. things like that that you can go to. So I like that. I love Evolve Your Brain. I love this book. Great. Very good. Very helpful. Louise Hay, You Can Heal, heal Your Life. Yes. I have my little markers in there. Yeah, uh, big thumbs up. A, that's awesome. Uh, this is my food bible, Arnold Arrett, The Mucilous Diet System. Uh-huh. We love you, Arnold. Um, <laughs> and then this one's really good. Michael Pollan, Food Rules. And I like it because it's just, it has simple things like buy your snacks at the farmer's market. Yeah. You know, just every, every page is a different, you know, if it came from a plant, eat it. If it was made in a plant, don't. We love that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> So, um, can you tell the audience how to get a hold of you online, like Facebook, your website, anything that they want, like YouTube, it's up to you. Um, I have three websites. The main one is thehealthyhaven.net. It's thehealthyhaven.net. I also have Alkalize with Andrea, 
Cool. Um, occasionally, I run juice fasting retreats and raw food retreats. Cool. I've got coming up in January that I'm very excited about. That'll be a five day retreat. And where will and that be? Okay. That'll be in Southern California. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that's really um, booking up fast. So I would ask people to email me at Andrea at thehealthyhaven.net or on Facebook. Um, I think I'm almost to my cutoff, but it's Andrea L. Cox. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Great, great. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I think a lot people are going to get a lot from this because super inspirational. It's good to see a real radiant young woman talking about this stuff because it really it gets people tuned in and they can just see the results. So I really want to say thank you for coming on the show and it's it's been a real honor like sharing your story here. Well, it's an honor. I I look up to you like so many I think men and women do. I mean, oh. you've been such an inspiration in so many people's lives including mine. Oh, thanks. You're, you're too kind. <laughs> likewise, likewise. Um, all right. Well, thanks so much. And I'll see you online. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see you in Southern California pretty soon. Hope so. Take yeah. care. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you. All right, everyone. That is episode 12 for The Anthony Anderson Show. Thank you for tuning in. And remember to check her out at thehealthyhaven.net. It's a really great website. A lot of cool books, a lot of good resources. You'll learn a lot. So my name is Anthony Anderson, and this is The Anthony Anderson Show, and we will see you next time. Take care. Peace.